Leone from Facebook wants to know, is Oakley still in her cage when you go to work or is she out with the other girls? Oakley still uses her kennel. She actually likes her kennel. Oakley, wanna show them how much you like your kennel? Wanna go in your kennel? Oh, your raccoon's not in there, is it? Wanna go in your kennel? You probably don't wanna go in it right now because you were just in it, huh? We just got back from dinner, so she just got out of the kennel. But actually, a lot of the times throughout the day, or in the evenings when we're home, we'll find her sleeping in her kennel. We just leave the door open for her, so she really does like her kennel. But no, while we're at work, she still is in her kennel, not with Shiloh and Shelby. Brandy wants to know, what are the best and worst parts about owning huskies? I'm going to give this answer to you guys in my opinion, of course. I think the best part about owning huskies is they have to be the most loving and caring breed of dog. They have, you want your butt scratched? They have the craziest personalities. I mean, this, our, <laughs> Shelby, you can't knock me down, Shelby. <laughs> you are such a clown. I mean, you guys can tell in the videos. Each of our dogs have their very own personalities. And just, they just have so much love. They just are the most loving breed of dog. I would have to say that's probably the best part about them. There really isn't any other dog like a husky, is there? No, no. And according to Facebook, every, you're everybody's favorite, Shy. We just can't tell Oakley and Shelby that. Right? Can't tell Oakley and Shelby that. I'd have to say the worst part about owning huskies is the hair. That, it, you know, it's not bad, but it's definitely the most annoying part. Because as you can see, it's everywhere. Here, this is showing you guys that we do actually have hair everywhere. Just because it looks so super clean in our videos all the time, doesn't mean there aren't days when it looks like that. Whose fur do you think that is? I think that's a little bit of yours, and a little bit of yours, and a little bit of yours. Tommy says, I have a 10 month old husky who's really hyper and bites a lot and we're getting her spayed. Does getting your husky spayed calm them down? Some people say it does. In my experience, I didn't really notice a difference in any of my dogs after getting them spayed. But some people say it does, so I honestly don't know what answer to give you for that. Shelby acted the same way after we got her spayed, Shiloh acted the same way after we got her spayed, and Oakley was spayed when we got her, so I don't really know with her. Save Heidi wants to know if we had any dogs before Shiloh, Shelby, and Oakley. Actually, we did. Jamie and I had a black lab mix, and uh, his name was Clyde. It was when we had our cat, Bonnie, so we had Bonnie and Clyde. But Clyde was a very, very active dog, and we worked a lot. It was probably not the most responsible thing to get the dog at the time that we did. So we ended up finding Clyde a new home. We also lived in a itty bitty tiny one bedroom apartment with almost no backyard. So we did have a dog before these three and uh, his name was Clyde and we didn't get another dog for three years after we rehomed him and he found a really good home on a farm. Penny wants to know, do any of your girls pinch? Loki will pinch to get our attention or hurry us along. Half annoying and half fun. Shiloh will kind of push into you like she'll we always call it goosing thanks for throwing me the ball Shelby she'll goose you if she wants you to pay attention to her Shelby will I guess it would be kind of like pinching with her mouth she'll actually reach out and she'll she'll grab your arm like I can't do it because I have the camera but if that was my arm and this is Shelby's mouth she'll actually like grab a hold of your arm <laughs> I got your foot um, and try to pull you in whatever direction she wants you to go Oakley does this See what she's doing right now? This is what Oakley does when she wants attention, which drives me nuts because I'm not a big fan of dogs that lick. But Oakley will do this. If you don't have your shoes on and your feet are exposed, Oakley will try to lick your feet. If she jumps up on the couch and she wants you to look at her, she'll lick your face. So Oakley is a licker. She's not necessarily pinching. Okay, Oakley. Okay. Oh, yuck. You have such wet licks. Such wet licks, Oakley. Such a wet licks. Thanks for the fluffy butt in my face. I'm sure they appreciate it. But yeah, Shelby's the worst at it. Shelby has the, the grab that's kind of like a pinch. Doesn't hurt, she doesn't grab hard, but she will. She'll grab and she'll just kind of pull you to the side. Won't ya? Jennifer wants to know if we've ever thought about breeding the dogs. No, they're all fixed. We'd rather rescue than breed anyway. We don't need no puppies. No, no puppies. We'll, we'll, we'll rescue another dog. You don't want no puppies, do you? Where are you, Shy? You don't want no puppies, do you? No. You can't have any anyway because you're fixed. Oakley, who 
has decided to go into the office with Jamie. We think that she may have had puppies in the past because she's got the wider hips, but uh, we would never have bred her. No, we don't need no more puppies. We need to find homes for all the puppies out there that don't have homes. Interesting statistic. That's all we have for Fan Friday today. We didn't get any letters or anything in the P.O. Box this week, so we don't have any pictures or drawings or letters to share with you. So that's all we have for you. Oh, I know what I can show you, though. If you guys aren't following us on our vlog channel, which is youtube.com slash without the snow dogs, which if you're not following us over there, you really should be because it's a lot of fun. We got more of our floor done. Check that out. We still don't have the grout in, but all of this part is done. Yay! So go watch us over on our vlog channel and you can keep up with our, our lives three days a week. Right? Three days a week? What do you think of that? What do you think of that? I don't know what you think of that. It's crazy stuff. Thank you for licking my hand again. You want to lick the audience? Here you go. Lick the audience. I like the audience? <laughs> I thought you were going to lick the camera. <laughs> uh, Thanks a lot, you guys. We'll see you uh, on Monday. I almost forgot what today was. It's Fan Friday. It's Fan Friday. All right. See you on Monday.